Hi guys, so it's been about two months since my last free trade portfolio update. Um, I did not realize it had been that long. Time just flies these days. So I'm gonna do a free trade portfolio update today. And what we're gonna do is go through all the positions I've added to first and then all the remaining positions, I'll just show you where they're sitting at. But obviously, if you watch these regularly, um, then the most interesting thing to you is the things I've added to. So that's what I'm gonna do. Again, as you know, I'm not big on long intros, so let's just jump straight in. So the first thing I wanted to show you quickly is this new feature where they've got the portfolio performance um, now in free trade. So if we go into that, and we, we can choose sort of one week, one month, three months, or max. So if we go to max, this basically shows you the performance of my portfolio since the 2nd of March this year. So my money weighted rate of return is 75% and my time weighted rate of return is 41.8% up. So in comparison to the FTSE All World ETF, I am quite a lot higher. You can see here the FTSE All World ETF is plus 17% and I'm plus 41%. So pretty, pretty good. Um, so yeah, love this little feature. Um, but let's get into my holdings. So in terms of my free trade portfolio, I've added about £400 since the last portfolio and these are the main changes that I've made. So the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, I've added two shares to this. So as you can see, it's currently sitting at £52 a share. So that was about £100 out of the £400 I've added in. And it's currently sitting at five shares with a gain of 6.57%, which is £16. I am trying now to increase my holdings in the ETFs. As I've mentioned before, I do want the majority of my portfolios to be in ETFs. So whilst the market's been very sort of volatile, I've been taking advantage of like the individual companies I want to own and investing in them when I thought it was a good time to invest in them. But now I want to start adding more to the ETFs. So that's why I added two shares to S&P 500. And in keeping with that, I also added one share to the FTSE 100 here. So this one was only six pounds, um, but I'm currently sitting at 21 shares and that is plus 7.86% and 9.8 pounds up. So again, a pretty decent return. The final ETF position that I've added to is the green energy ETF. So this is the global clean energy over here in iShares and I've currently got eight shares, which means that I've added five from the last position. It's currently plus 5.5%, which is four pounds up at the moment. As you can see here, this ETF has been like absolutely growing and growing. Um, hugely, so I'm really happy with that. The next one I've added to is GlaxoSmith & Klein. I've mentioned this in my top dividend stocks in the UK video that I was going to add to GSK. Um, it is quite undervalued at the moment, or it has been um, whilst I added to it anyway. So I added five shares into GSK. So I've currently got 13 shares and it is currently down, but like I said, it's, it's dropped in value and it's currently considered to be undervalued, which is why I've been sort of buying in now just to dollar cost average. So you can see here the graph's been going quite up and down, but GSK, as you can see here, they pay a 5.66% dividend. So I'm not too bothered about the share price because this is a long-term hold for me anyway. I've added about 0.1 of a share to each AbV and Amex. So Abby, you guys know I'm a big fan of. Um, so I've currently got 1.49 of shares in here and plus 21%, uh, which ends up being plus 21 pounds, which again is really, really decent. And Abvi again pay 4.8% dividend, which is brilliant. And then Amex, um, they have a very low dividend of 1.4%, but a company that I use regularly and think is a good investment long-term, um, so I've got 1.37 shares in that and they are sitting at plus 19%, which is plus 20 pounds. So again, doing really, really well. I've also added four shares in Sentiment. So this is the gold mining company. Um, if you remember in some of my previous updates, it was like doing super, super well, like sky high um, and it dropped quite significantly recently. So I took the opportunity to add to my position. They do pay a 7.4% dividend yield, which is brilliant. And again, gold is a good sort of investment to have to offset others. So although this isn't 
actual gold that I'm investing in. This is a gold mining company, so I'm kind of seeing it as the same thing. That's kind of the wrong phrase, but until I'm comfortable enough to invest in commodities and actually invest in actual gold, um, I'm going to sort of increase my position here slightly. So this is currently sitting at minus 10.9% which is only a £2.40 loss, so it's not too bad. But again, you can see here, like it went up really, really high and now it's dropped um, quite, a, quite a lot. So hoping it'll go back up again and show the gains that I had previously. Next is a new addition based on my UK dividend uh, video. So if you haven't seen that, check that out, but it is Polar Capital. So Polar Capital have a 5.1% dividend yield and I'm currently 8.8% up on this, which is plus one pound. So not a lot of monetary value, but quite a lot in percentage terms. I only added two shares because it was part of the money I had left over, but also they are currently at one of their highest positions. So I'm gonna wait and see whether they drop a bit before I add more. The next one is Plug Power. So you know that I hold this in both Trading 2 and 2 and Free Trade, um, but I did add one share to Plug Power and I've currently got two shares here. I do hold more of this in Trading 2 and 2, obviously, but it's currently up 71%. 71%, it's insane, it's doing so, so well. It was, I think, 50% up last time um, I spoke about it, and it was like plus 40% on Trading 2 on 2, and now it's up 71%, which is insane. So they are a clean energy company. They are part of the clean energy ETF that I mentioned I hold as well, but I wanted to hold them separately just because they are doing so well. So this is actually a plus £16.88 gain for me. And you can see here on the graph, they have just absolutely exploded. It's just crazy. And the final two changes that I've made that are quite small is I've added 0.3 of a share to Visa and 0.5 of a share to AT&T. Not huge amounts. Um, Visa is sort of similar to Amex. I just think is a really good company to hold long term. It's not really one I'm holding for dividends. It's just one that I think will be good to hold in terms of stable growth. Um, you know, I'm not seeing it as a quick growth win or anything like that. I just think it's a really stable company to invest in. And AT&T, I've said before, I had a few reservations about which is why I've only added half a share and it was purely because I had money left over and they do pay a really good dividend so I just chucked the remainder of my top up into them. So those are all the new positions that I've added since the last update um, and then I'll just quickly run you through the whole position. I'm not going to spend too much on it. You can always pause the video and have a look through what I've got. But my portfolio is currently £2,333, um, up by 720 since I began investing. And these are my holdings. So I've got the FTSE All World Dividend, nine shares is my highest holding. So actually this is the one thing that I love about free trade here, which I haven't got in the other apps. It's the fact that it actually orders your investments from your biggest holding. So it's really easy to see what your biggest holding is. But yeah, so that one is my biggest at £378. Then I've got the S&P Dividend Aristocrat ETF, followed by the S&P 500 Vanguard ETF. So you can see here that in my free trade portfolio, the top three holdings are ETFs, which is kind of in line with where I want to get to overall. Next, we've got AT&T um, at £200, GlaxoSmithKline at 183 FTSE 100, 135 Then we've got Amex, 124 S&P UK Dividend, 121 Abvi 120, Global Clean Energy 81, uh, the Hut Group 59 pounds, um, currently up 10%, which is really good. Um, I invested in them when they IPO'd a couple of months ago, so I'm really pleased with that. I use a lot of the companies that the Hut Group own, so it was it just made sense to invest in them. Um, and then we've got Visa 56 pounds, Greg's 49 pounds. Compass Group, £43. I think I've mentioned before, I've invested in them because they are the biggest catering company and they are the one that I work for part-time, sort of on my zero hours contracts as well. Plug Power, £40. Emerging Markets, £26. Secure Income, £20. Sentiment, again, 1950. Robo Global, 17. Polar Capital, 13. And BP, 5. So BP is one that I want to get rid of ASAP, but I kind of don't want to get rid of it whilst it's negative. So 
once it goes up I'm going to sell it and probably reinvest it more in the clean energy companies. As you can see here I've got eight free shares queued so this is from people using my link down below um, so when you guys use the link to sign up you get a free share and I get a free share. So thank you so much again to everyone who uses my link. I do have a video coming about sort of my top individual holdings and why I'm investing in them and stuff like that. So that's gonna be part of my sort of videos that you guys have asked for about why I invest in the companies I do. So that is coming um, hopefully in a week's time. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.